we're diving into camera raw filter talking about the tools when to use the tools and how to use the tools in camera raw filter also the pre and post retouching step before using camera raw filter instead of using a white balance in camera raw filter i'll go ahead and use this method which is the solid color method in getting the right color profile so i'm going to turn it off and then double click to open up the color picker i'm going to select the eyes and i'm going to increase it up a little bit and it's okay and turn it back on i'm going to change the blend mode to divide now it's looking too bright right now but we know we need to make the the, the subjects come out from the background so i'm just going to turn it back on go into it and then take it up till i have something okay i'm going to zoom in and make sure we're not clipping we're clipping right here i'm just going to go ahead and you know increase it to something like this should be fine and it's okay so we have this from before and then after let's impact the mask and then grab our brush tool and we're going to paint over with the front foreground color white and I'm just going to paint all right so now we're done and you can see the before and then the after it's just to make the subject come out more from the background create a stand visible layer control shift or turn it E because we need a stand visible layer for us to create go use the camera raw filter so go to filter and then go to camera raw filter so here we are in camera raw filter I'm going to increase this to make it bigger and in the camera raw filter we have these two before and after so this one is just going to show you different before and after and you can just see the way it's you know and we're back to normal why this is just toggling before and after so but it's grayed out if i make any adjustment for instance it's gonna you can see it's showing you the before and after for that adjustment okay so i'm just going to reset that and then we have nine tab in the camera of you the basic curve details color mixer the color grading optics geometry effects and calibration so sometimes you won't use the optics and geometry and effect sometimes i do use it when i do face photography or headshot portrait and i do use that too unlike the rest okay so but for this one i'm going to start with the basic tab and under the basic tab all these adjustments are found in the normal adjustment inside photoshop just that some are not there example like the white the highlight and also the clarity and the texture and the rest they are not found inside so but that's why camera raw filter have an advantage okay so let's go ahead let's start with the exposure is the image less exposed or overexposed for me i feel it's not overexposed it's okay but let's try and get the right color balance which is white balance okay just pick anywhere that's white select the sampler tool i'm going to zoom in and then i'm going to pick somewhere a uh, highs and just toggle it on and it makes a little adjustment but what is the white balance the white balance under the temperature shows you when what time you took the shot either morning or afternoon so if you want it to look like the afternoon you take it towards the left the right if you want it to look like morning you take it towards the um yellow so if i take it towards the yellow it looks like the afternoon if i take it towards the um, left it looks like the morning why the tint is just adding some tint to the image so i'm just gonna use this slider and get the right color so just put the right few just a little bit plus seven and i feel i love this a lot now for the tint it's also like a color grade you just i don't use that that much okay so i'm going to use the highlights and the blacks and the exposure but before that you need to set the whites of the image and the blacks of the image before using the highlights and shadows okay so where you can adjust the white the highlight is what you need to do use once you know that where the blacks can adjust the shadows is what you need to use so it's more like you know uh where the the the, the restriction of the white where the white is restricted the highlight takes over where the re the blacks is restricted the shadows takes over so now let's create a depth of few with the white and the black so i'm going to increase the overall white on the image 
just a little bit now you need to take notes you need to make little little adjustment i'm gonna take the blacks as well up and just let's just leave it at 13 13. i'm also going to take this this i should leave at let's leave it at 12. i'm going to take this backwards just a bit and take this backwards as well so one thing you can use this um shadow clipping and check where it's clipping so you know that you lost the details the image so no matter how you increase the blacks that place is going to be lost okay and also this no matter how you increase it's also going to be lost and you can actually adjust that by bringing the highlights down and you know it's gone okay so for also this one you can increase that by bringing the blacks up but no matter how you increase like i said it's still going to be there and i don't want to mess up the image i just want to edit a little bit so just just leave it like like 17 and let's turn it off and let's see what we have okay unlike before so i'm gonna bring it down and then just see what we are losing okay so that's looking good i'm gonna bring up the overall white again so just don't clip the image we need details on the face i'm gonna bring this up let's see the shadows then bringing up take it down okay so this look okay now one thing i want to point out is the da's the da's removes a's and you won't notice this but there's a black da's on this one okay and also sometimes you get a white da's white da's looks you know this is a black da's why this is a white da's so you can adjust the da's now you sometimes i use this before going into the highlight and the shadow so but it just creates a sense of you know a depth or you can see what it does to the image so if i take it forward it just creates this one so i'm gonna leave it like this or you probably can take it back but it's just you know too bright let's compare it to the last part of the image before and then the after okay so it's killing the the one we created before so we have before and then the after okay so now i'm gonna leave it like this let's zoom in and make sure we are getting what we want all right so i'm going to bring back the da's and make sure the image looks brighter so bright like this because we're still going to add some contrast so let's leave it like this and i believe it's okay and you can add some clarity put some textures textures and clarity are just sharpness so mind the way you use them because you can introduce a lot of uh, clipping also as you use them so let's leave it let's just leave the clarity and use the texture so that's that for the basic tab now for the curve the curve is also used to create depth or contrast so it's just for you to create an x curve instead of using the contrast button so i'm going to increase and decrease so i think we need to increase the light and decrease the black so let's take the light up and decrease the highlight and then go ahead same with the blacks bring it up and decrease the shadows or you do the opposite of it and you get this okay so minus five like i said just the two adjustment should be fine so let's do it quickly before and then the after so you just create a set a depth now details let me turn this off so we have details we can increase the sharpening and the more we increase the sharpening the more hdr image kind of feel we get so i would advise the sharpening should be the last thing you do after camera raw filter after doing all you need to do in camera raw filter so i'm going to leave this out for the now and then i'm going to go to the color mixer which is where everything is going to look dramatic so let's zoom out let's zoom out and now we have yeah the color mixer so the color mixer are three we have the u saturation and luminance okay so let's start with the u the u whenever i take this slider backwards it takes the color on top when i take it forward it takes the color below like this orange if i take it backward it takes the color above which is red if i take it forward it takes that color and resemble it will make it resemble the yellows meaning it's going to take the colors to yellow if i adjust this backward it takes the color above orange if i take the color forward it takes the color below green okay so this will be green 
and you can see a green tint on the air and this will be yellow you can see takes the color orange above then like this takes the color below all right so let's go ahead and mess around with it now i'm going to take the yellow let's take it towards the green so as to separate the air and the background from from the tune of the model so now whenever we're adjusting the orange it won't affect this yellow it's just going to separate the yellow from the orange so just a little bit let's take it backwards a bit and you can see from the background all over this place for the red i'm going to take it backwards to make the lips more red or kind of uh, red feel and i guess we have some of the blues so let's take this towards the blues and also the aqua let's take it forward and you can see that on our clothes already and i'll take this backwards and we have this other color just like that now we need to decide what color do we need to use on the skin what's you so if we take the u forward it's going to take the yellow feel we take the u backwards it's going to take the red feel so i'm just going to take it backwards a little bit to get the red feel out of our skin you take it forward it's going to look yellow like this you can see so it's taking the color below and this should be fine so let's leave it at plus six sorry did i say plus six minus so my plus minus five should be fine i'm just gonna adjust it a little bit all right so now that's for that let's go to the saturation now the saturation of the yellows and the red okay so you can increase the saturation of the red and it's just going to drag attention to the leaves and also the saturation of the orange so let's increase the saturation of the orange not so bad much just a little and that's getting too much let's leave it at 20 or 17 or 20 and also for the orange for the yellows i'm going to increase now let's go back to the u i'm just going to adjust this u a little bit so it will look more like yes like the green so this type of feel should be fine i'll go back to the saturation and increase that till we get something okay and now the greens we can increase the saturation of the green and you can see that at the back of the chair and also the blues increase let's increase this so it's just increasing and increasing okay so now for the luminance the luminance i'm going to bring up the luminance of the face just the color just a little bit plus two to brighten up the face a little bit and of the yellows as well let's take it down to create some depth and the seven should be fine now that's about the luminance the luminance affects the exposure okay so if i make it a stream like the red take it up it looks bright you can see the way the leaves gone and take it back it looks you know darker so that's it just affect the lightness so i'm going to reset that and for the orange too you can see it i left it at plus two if i increase it it's making it bright if i decrease it making it dark okay so you just need to find the sweet spot for it so let's take it up in fact uh let's leave it at plus four so i'm going to close that and now on the detail sorry we've done the details so the color grading part now usually i do this after camera raw filter okay so the color grading part is just to mess around with the shadows and i like the slider that a honda because the slider determines how it also creates a depth of field okay so let's take for example i increase this and it's affecting the i think the dark the dark side so you can just mess around with how you want the dark to look if you want to add some tint so like that and also you can decrease the exposure of that and it's just going to create this depth you already color grading so the greens i can mess around with it till i find the sweet spot for it and you can take it over and move it around it just creates this you know kind of cool uh feel i'm going to bring it down a little and you can see what it's doing so not too much i'm just going to reset that and then take it down a little now let's mess around with the highlight i'm going to add some yellow tint to it and that's too much just a little bit and let's look for the sweet spot let's add some odd orange color and increase 
so that's that this just actually like color grading and also for the mid tones i'm gonna add just a little bit of that and let's add some yellows and you can decrease the brightness and increase the lightness okay so i'm just gonna reset and reset this as well so i think the the, the shadows is too much uh, i'm just gonna take it up somewhere there and let's bring it up a bit okay so let's look at the color grading before the color grading and after the color grading but i feel the green is too much so we can just take this forward and yeah so just the highlight just the highlight so we have before and then the after okay so that's what we, for the color grading i'm going to close it and now the optics is just the distortion to distort the image like looking into it through a microscope so look at what it does it brings it bulges it out and you know shrink it so i'm not using this one i use it only for head photography the geometry also is to align the body now aligning the vertical or horizontal you can see how it's pushing it so if i want to align this i'll leave it like this to make it you know straight make the body straight but let's just follow the picture i'm just going to leave it like this and rotate aspect everything offset is also another way to push the image to the left or push it to the right so okay i don't use that and you have the automatic tab you can click on it and it's going to do everything automatic if i click on the automatic tab it's going to adjust it you can see how it straightens the image just a bit and i'm going to leave it like that i think i like the automatic and now for the effect this is where we see our vignette and the grain so we can input it and we can bring it back and make it look darker okay just to focus more on the image on the subject so i'm just going to bring it back to have it not disabled so this is okay i'm going to close it and now the calibration this replicates different camera settings okay and color settings so you can actually mess around with the u sometimes i like taking this forward and having the state and taking this backward you just you know create this sweet color grade on top of our image something like that and then the greens mess around with the greens and how amazing it's looking like this okay so now we're done and you can increase the saturation if you wish you can decrease the saturation of the of the red if you wish so you can see before and after after color grading okay so just decrease the saturation let's make it zero and we're gonna leave it like this and we can click ok to see our final image so here we are with our image and we have our before and then our after.